Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert was on the scene Wednesday morning at Del Mar as he sent his full Breeders' Cup Classic Arsenal out to train. Defending Classic winner Arrogate headed out with the pony around 6.30 and backtracked for an easy jog under exercise rider Dana Barnes. Judmont Farms runner made an uneventful circuit the wrong way and was back at the barn by a little after 6.45 where he cooled out well and got a bath before a small media contingent. Baffert sent Gary and Mary West, Traverse Stakes winner West Coast, out in the next set after the break under Barnes for a routine gallop, while Speedway Stables Collected also galloped at the same time around 7.50. Baffert's other classic contender, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoum's Mubtahish, went out before Arrogate and was back at the barn relaxing as his stablemates went about their morning training. Leading the charge of Baffert's other Breeders' Cup contenders was distaff runner Abel Tasman, who powered through an enthusiastic gallop with Dana Barnes. On the work tab Wednesday at Del Mar was Sky Diamonds, who blew out three furlongs breezing in 38 flat for the filly and mare sprint. And you can read more about her move in an upcoming feature by Jeremy Balin at bloodhorse.com. Other Breeders' Cup horses we saw this morning included juvenile starter Bolt Dioro for Mick Ruiz, classic contender Pavel for trainer Ron Moquette, sprinter American Pastime for Bob Hess Jr., and Indiana bred sprint contender Buchero, trained by Tim Gleishaw. Turf sprinter Marsha from the barn of Sir Mark Prescott was also on the track and is headed for a rematch after defeating Lady Aurelia by a slim nose in the Nunthorpe Stakes. She will be Prescott's first Breeders' Cup runner in 47 years of training. Preparations for Breeders' Cup continue tomorrow as the World Championships draw one day nearer. There is also racing at the Seaside Track. We'll be here to cover all the action and of course you can pick up expanded coverage in Blood Horse Daily.